Okay, so now our patient is here and I'll tap on the MI that came up here. I enter the essential information, name of the patient, MR number, and another information. And I tap on the camera button. So the flashback comes in. I slightly zoom the screen so that uh, the entire screen is full of the lens. And I just adjust a little bit so that we are right in the center. So if the, what uh, we are going to do is we are going to scan your right eye first. And for the right eye, we need your left hand so that you can just look at your left hand with your left eye. And this is uh, uh, the picture initially that we are going to take is the central fundus. So what you need to do is go close to the eye. And once you see the red reflex in the pupillary area, then slowly, slowly come up and keep coming up till the entire 20 diopter lens screen is full of the image. Then just hit the capture button. So that's the way that you have taken the central fundus. Now if you want to take the inferior retinal picture, then again ask the patient to look a little inferiorly and you are just right opposite. Use your other hand to open the patient's eye, that makes a lot of difference. Again, do the same thing. Go close to the patient's eye, slowly, slowly, come up, till the time your entire screen is full of the image. And hit the click button. Similar way, if you want to take the picture of the temporal retina, then use the same hand, epsilator eye, and you should be on the right opposite side, and ask the patient to look on the finger which you have as a target. And again, go close to the eye, see the red reflex, keep coming up, keep coming up till the entire screen fills the 20 adapter lens. And just pause a little second so that you know auto fixing works and the image becomes pretty clear. And hit the scan button. So this is pretty much the way that you scan the entire all the areas. For example, if you want to scan the superior area, you need to be on the inferior side. If you want to take the nasal area you want to be on the temporal side so this is a pretty much pretty simple way and initially initially you should do this scanning in a lying down position but once you are a little bit you know habitual of scanning then you can do the scanning in the sitting position also thank you